The endoscopic gastric balloon is a reversible procedure which is done under sedation or general anaesthetic either in the endoscopy suite or in the main theatre. Uh, most patients who uh, arrive uh, asking for the balloon ask for it either because they want a reversible procedure, they're not keen on any scars, or because they have a certain weight loss limit, that the weight loss target that they want to achieve and they don't want to go beyond it. In general, there are two types of balloon, the six month removable balloon and the six to 12 month adjustable balloon, which are available. And the team at Tonic will advise as to which is the most appropriate balloon um, for patients to have. What's involved is a day case procedure where patients will arrive to hospital, they'll be taken to the endoscopy or the theater suite, uh, a cannula will be placed into their hand, into the back of their hand, and they will be given a mild sedation or a full general anesthetic. Following this, the surgeon will pass a camera and endoscopy down the throat into the stomach, check the stomach initially to make sure there are no conditions which would stop us from placing a balloon, and after this the balloon will be placed in the stomach and filled with a certain amount of blue liquid. The blue liquid is saline with a blue dye in it, and I, I will go later into why we use that particular liquid. So the balloon will be placed into the stomach and it helps to fill the volume of the stomach and make patients feel full. The first couple of days after the balloon are pretty tough for patients, so they have a lot of nausea and a lot of sickliness that they have to get used to, but by day three, most of these symptoms have subsided. In the first five days after the balloon, patients are often asked to be on a liquid-only diet, followed by five days of being on a pureed, blended diet, and after this they will be able to eat normal foods. Now what patients will find is that their appetite goes away, they're able to eat a smaller portion of food and feel fuller, and that small portion of food will give them a feeling of satiety or fullness for longer between meals and hence patients will be able to reduce the size of meals that they're eating and they will feel fuller for longer hence achieve the weight loss that they're looking for. Most of the weight loss with the balloon happens in the first three months and on average patients can expect to lose anything from 12 to 20 kilos in weight so roughly two to three stone in weight over that period. Clearly patients will need to change their eating habits so that they're making the right food choices, eating three meals a day, couple of snacks, textured foods, slowing their eating down and avoiding eating and drinking at the same time. After the three months, in most patients, the weight loss stabilizes and we will advise patients to boost the amount of exercise that they're doing. Depending on whether patients have chosen to have a standard balloon or an adjustable balloon, there is always the option for patients to return to the surgeon with the adjustable balloon and ask for the balloon to be filled to have an additional amount of fluid put into the balloon, again under sedation, using an endoscopy, and that may help boost the weight loss for certain patients who are looking for that to be achieved. In terms of the living with the balloon, patients will be asked to be uh, on an acid-reducing tablet, such as omeprazole, or lansoprazole for the time that they have the balloon in place and that will help to reduce the stomach production of acid and reduce any potential for damage to occur to the balloon. When it comes to removing the balloon, again this is done as a day case procedure in the endoscopy or in the theatre suite and will be done under either sedation or general anaesthetic and this will involve passing a camera into the stomach deflating the balloon, removing the balloon, and the stomach goes back to normal. So what is really vital for patients who choose the rever a reversible procedure such as the balloon is to have a plan in place for how they're going to maintain the weight loss long term. Because once the balloon is removed, the stomach goes back to normal, the appetite goes back to normal, and the risk is that patients will regain the weight again in the future. So what's key is to have a good support package after this procedure so that they continue to have in Input from a team such as Tonic, where they will have a regular advice from a specialist dietitian, psychotherapist, personal trainer, life coach, in order that patients will find it easier to maintain the dietary and lifestyle changes after the balloon is removed.